So Mark Dawson's ads for authors course is still open for a few days. Uh, I've been making some videos about it because I'm an alumni of that course. I took it in 2015 and I thought I'd wrap it up with one more video going back to talk about what I spoke about in the last one, which is advertising your books is hard. Stay tuned. Hey, it is me, Roland Hume. I am the author of 29 full-length novels. I've sold more than 67,000 copies of my books. I've reached more than 320,000 readers on Kindle Unlimited, and I have made more than $275,000 in royalties. And I credit a lot of my success to Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course. It is a terrific course. I took it in 2015, and while it wasn't until 2018 that I published my first bestseller, I know I was able to leverage that success so much more effectively because of everything I learned through Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course. I'll tell you what though, I've learned an awful lot myself along the way. And one of the most interesting experiences I had recently was actually through uh, a service that somebody who is not Mark Dawson offers. I was scrolling through Instagram, as, as you do, and I saw an ad pop up that said, are you tired of being on the Amazon hamster wheel? And yeah, yeah, if you're a self-published author and you have flirted with success, then you know exactly what the Amazon hamster wheel is. For me, one of the biggest problems uh, with writing and self-publishing is advertising is essential to your success, but whoever you advertise with wants their money now, whereas uh, Amazon will only pay you your royalties 60 days after month's end. So uh, you c could be advertising successfully, but if you run out of money, you will not be able to continue advertising uh, for up to 90 days, depending on where in the month that falls. So you really have to get that ball rolling. I call it the 60 day cliff or the 90 day cliff. It's a very, very challenging thing. So when I saw this ad pop up that said, get off the Amazon hamster wheel, I was like, that's kind of interesting. And it turns out that <clears throat> this is a, a system for advertising books and selling them directly to people. Uh, set up by this chap called Steve Piper, who is a, a former, I think he's a former Air Force pilot. He's a massively successful businessman. He is a New York Times best-selling author who writes under the name Lars Emmerich. And yeah, he sells his books directly to his readers. And it's a really, really interesting idea. There are certain advantages to doing that. Most notably, if you advertise your books uh, and sell them direct to the readers, your readers will pay you directly, which means you get your money immediately. Uh, which means if you have a good day advertising and get a bunch of money, that will pay for the next day's advertising and you get a bunch of money, that will pay for the next day's advertising. It is a really, really, really attractive proposition. There are a couple of, of issues though. And uh, Steve Pubber, I've never spoken to Steve Pubber directly. I've spoken to one of his authors because I went quite far down the rabbit hole with this. I was like, this is a really, really intriguing idea. And I spoke to one of the authors he works with who has been very successful doing exactly this, setting up a platform to sell books directly to people uh, instead of going through Amazon.com or, or Barnes & Noble or whatever. The challenge, the things that put me off eventually and stopped me going forward with that, um, not the, the biggest one is that it costs money. There's a m massive investment that you pay to Steve Piper and his team, and that uh, is what gives them the incentive to teach you how to set up the same system that they have. And yeah, I have no criticism about Steve Piper, anybody who works with him uh, whatsoever. Every experience I had interacting with them was, was great. And the cool thing is Steve Piper has these uh, different seminars and stuff that you could access online. And he's very, very honest about it. I mean, I think one of the figures he said was, you know, 40% of the people who take this course end up advertising profitably, um, which is honest, because that's actually less than half. But to be honest, that's not a bad percentage at all. And, you know, I'm quite a smart bloke and I write pretty good books. So, you know, if, if I had gone through and, and taken this course, I would be pretty confident that I would be one of the people who ends up in that 40%. I ended up not doing it though, simply because I didn't have the money. But I did experiment with the concept of advertising directly. Um, and so for a brief period last year, a couple of brief periods, I uh, clutched together 
jerry-rigged and assembled like Iron Man in the cave, uh, a system to do exactly what Steve Piper does, except Steve Piper is a man who makes millions of dollars optimizing things for, for global corporations. I'm a bloke who can do a bit of WordPress, but I set up a system where I could advertise on Facebook, have people go to my website and then buy my books directly as a box set that they download from Payhip. And the, that became a really, really interesting exercise because when you sell directly to people, you have access to so much more information than when you sell using a platform like Amazon.com. With Amazon, uh, with Facebook, the biggest problem is you advertise on Facebook, Facebook tells you how many people click through your ads and go to your product page, and then Amazon tells you how many people have bought your book, but there's no way to connect the dots between the two. There's no pixel or, or conversion thing for when you are selling direct to Amazon. Um, so that means it's very difficult to know whether the traffic you're sending there eventually become customers. I, I'm able to work this out myself, but only over the course of the long term. Uh, I'm going to do a video about that shortly, I think. But like in October, I worked out some advertising I did uh, resulted in $600 worth of additional sales. But it was not easy to do. And even though I'm, I would say 99% sure that this is what happened, you know, there are other factors at play. Earlier this year, I had one day where my sales went through the roof and I was like, oh my goodness, my advertising is kicking butt. But it turns out it was some dirty bird buying all of my erotic short stories at once, which I don't advertise. And it was nothing to do with my advertising whatsoever. So it's a very, it's a very tricky game to play when you're advertising on Facebook and trying to push people directly to your product page on Amazon. And you get so much more information when you use Facebook ads to direct people to your own website and where you can sell things to them directly. I'm not an expert by any means. So this is where I think the appeal of like paying somebody like Steve Piper's team $6,000 to set this up for you is really, really valuable. Because if it's gonna make you money, then you'll get your investment back. For me, I tried to piece things together and I did a pretty serviceable job. Um, and it's the information that I received along the way that really, really helped. So yeah, as I said, with Facebook advertising, you can see how many clicks go to your product page and then you can see how many people bought your book or, or read it on Kindle Unlimited. So there's a big piece of that puzzle missing. With advertising directly, you get to see how many people clicked on your ad and then through Google Analytics, you can see how many people landed on your landing page. And then with whatever sales uh, system you have, I have Payhip, you can see how many people eventually click through to see that buy now page, and then how many people click through to click buy. So you can see where people drop off. And it then becomes a case of like, okay, I'm losing a ton of people here. What can I do to fix that? So for me, what happened is I had to write about six different iterations of my landing page until I got one that started making sales. And uh, it, it was really, really valuable to me because it made me realize uh, that there are certain things about your product you have to optimize to make it m the most uh, likely that people will actually end up buying it. And these are things, these optimizations that are very, very difficult to test and measure when you are using Facebook to advertise directly to Amazon. When you're using Facebook to advertise your own website and you have access to all of the information, then it becomes so much easier. Also, the thing that is really interesting is you get access to all this information in real time. So you know, I wasted a lot of money, or at least I burned through a lot of money, sending a ton of traffic to my website, watching what the behavior was. And the two things that stood out were, oh, okay, I can track people's behaviors. People are people. People who click on your ads are actual people. And so you start thinking about their buying experience through their eyes, and it helps you optimize things so, so much better. You look, you look at the blurb, and instead of thinking, oh, that's a good blurb from an author's point of view, you're like, as a reader, is this blurb gonna hook me? Um, yeah, so I was able to optimize things and get to a situation where I was selling copies of my books direct to the consumers online. And from that, I can conclude that, yes, yeah, Steve Piper's system of selling directly to readers can absolutely work. But I do understand why only 40% of the people make a profit, because I did manage to get people to buy my books 
by going direct and I managed to improve things and I think if I had had the, the spare money to continue advertising and the spare time and heart to continue optimizing things I could probably have got to a point uh, at which I was making a profit on this advertising and it would become self-sustaining because I would be paid directly. So therefore, whatever profits I made in one day would pay for the advertising the next day. That's the dream, isn't it? But I eventually abandoned this plan. And the reason I abandoned it is because for all of the advantages of getting paid immediately by advertising and selling books directly to consumers, you lose out on two massively valuable things. The first, is the biggest reason why people would be hesitant to buy your books direct from your website. And that is because people don't trust random websites. People like Amazon because they know what Amazon is. They trust Amazon. They know they can return on Amazon. So for me, I was able to get people to, to buy copies of my books, but I knew that if I was directing people to Amazon, I'd be able to convert a higher number of them to buy my books. Yeah, I might miss out on that the trail of breadcrumbs so I could tell exactly the journey that each individual purchaser uh, went on. And yes, I wouldn't get that, that beautiful money being instantly put into my PayPal account. However, your money works so much harder for you when you're advertising and directing people to Amazon.com because immediately customers like it's Amazon.com I'm fine clicking buy now or it's amazon.com. I've got a Kindle Unlimited account. This isn't going to cost me anything. So <clears throat> I think there is massive, massive value in using your advertising to go direct to Amazon because it means people are more likely to buy. And it's certainly not the only way of doing things. Uh, you certainly can make a profit selling directly to, to people. Steve Piper's system, uh, as far as I'm aware, if you've got good books that sell, I think you could make a vast amount of money using his system. But at the end of the day, you are making things a lot easier for yourself if you are pointing people towards somewhere where they are already feel feel comfortable about buying things. Second thing, and this to me is, is a big, big, big one, is if you are selling books directly to people from your website, that means Amazon doesn't track those sales which means that your books on Amazon just remain completely flat. And it, it's like a snowball effect. The more books you sell, the more visible your books become, the harder your advertising works for you. If you are selling a bunch of books through Facebook advertising, but you're also running advertising on Amazon, the more books you're selling, the more your relevancy is going to get up. And so the more effective your advertising on Amazon is going to be, the higher your books go in the ranks. And so the more organic visibility they get. And it's like a big snowball. And so using the power of Amazon to work for you can be really, really, really effective. It's just like, you know, people are more likely to buy your book if they go to Amazon than off your website. Um, yeah, you might miss that trail of breadcrumbs and it might be a bit trickier to, to get your advertising being profitable. But once it is, it hits so much harder when you are actually advertising and selling on Amazon. So I now don't think that uh, the convenience of having that money paid to you immediately is worth the inconvenience of uh, all of those sales that you're going to miss by not going direct to Amazon and the extra visibility. And at the end of the day, look, I want to be a best-selling author and advertising gives you the opportunity to get your book ranking high enough in Amazon to become a bestseller. You are never going to achieve that if you sell directly to consumers. So yeah, for the time being, I continue to be team Amazon. And yeah, if you want to learn about how to uh, direct people uh, from Facebook to Amazon to buy books, or if you want to figure out advertising on Amazon to sell more copies of your books, best place to start is going to be Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course. So. I yeah made this video to recommend that. Um, if this video has convinced you to actually buy Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course, there is a link down below. Uh, that's an affiliate link, so I get a little piece of the action. I appreciate it very much. It convinces me to continue making videos like this, but I will sweeten the deal for you uh, this time. Last year, I actually made a course myself called So You Self Published a Book on Amazon. Now what? And I think it's pretty good. And I specifically made this course not to, to go over any material that Mark Dawson covers because I think he's the GOAT, the greatest of all time. I think 
this is the best resource available. I made this course to fill in all the blanks that I wish I had been taught when I'd done Mark Dawson's course because it would have helped me, you know, shorten that four year period before I hit that first bestseller. So I will give you that course for free. It has a uh, regular price of $100. If you choose to use uh, the link down below to buy Mark Dawson's course, just let me know your email address and I will send you free access. And I think together they work really, really well. And I think, um, a lot of the stuff and a lot of the ways I would explain things in my course will really help you get the most out of Mark Dawson's course. Uh, that is it. Stay tuned. I'll be making more videos uh, shortly. But best of luck in your writing and self-publishing. You know, I'm, I'm rooting for you. Keep the faith. Let's keep going and make 2022 our best year yet. Ciao. I'm Roland Hume. I've sold 67,000 copies of my books. If you want to find out how I did it, I've got a link right here you can click. And otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. I've got more videos coming soon. Thank you.